My name is Robert Huff. I was born in Toronto, Ontario, and I write novels. I must say that most people I know who are good at something, who are really good at something, don't strike me as being particularly happy. And I think it's because they all seem to have this kind of gun to their head. And I think that perfect happiness would be, you know, to have that pistol taken away for a couple hours. Well, my greatest fear would be thermonuclear annihilation, but I also don't like the idea of cancer or spinal cord trauma. I'm not too wild about those either. Um, I would say that um, most of my heroes are novelists who've, who've written a novel that I consider to be truly great and that other people haven't heard of. I'm championing now this Quebec author named Gaetan Soucy, who wrote a book called The Little Girl Who Was Too Fond of Matches. So I would say he's my hero until the next one comes along, which would probably be in a couple of months' time. Um, sometimes I fantasize about being ten times better a writer than I am now, but then that would be totally unearned and I would feel guilty about it. But one thing I wouldn't feel guilty about it if I had, uh, if I was more adept at languages. You know, I'd say the Booker, even though I don't know if I really would want to win it because I think that'd be kind of a scary prospect. The pressure would be pretty intense afterwards. I guess my greatest source of satisfaction, which is a very different experience than pleasure, uh, would be writing novels, just because they're so tough. They're sort of like climbing mountains. When I, when I get change, I look at the pennies, and if they're minted before 1964, I keep them. Yeah, my most treasured possession is my pre-1964 penny collection. I'm really brooding. Sometimes I will think so hard about something that I actually make myself physically ill. If I could change that, I would be, I wouldn't say truly happy, but I would be great, re greatly relieved. My pet peeve is people who think they're funny and they're not. Have you ever been in the company of someone who really thinks they're funny and they'll hit you with a bad joke every 10 seconds? I mean, your face hurts being around these people. I don't think ambition is so bad. I think ambition is quite good, but just this kind of burning, relentless drive that a lot of successful people have, I don't think it's that great a way to live your life. Uh, and I know because I suffer from some of it myself, and I'm constantly trying to release it. Personally speaking, drive is something that I think is kind of overrated. I lie constantly. I lie every day. I lie to myself. I'm a novelist. I spend all morning lying, and I find it hard to shut it off. In fact, you know, I'm haunted by, like, when have I actually told the truth? This is, gets back to that Hemingway thing about trying to tell one trying to come up with one sentence that's truthful per day. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot of work. I mean, I often feel guilty now that I'm kind of making a living as a novelist, and my life is so much easier than the vast majority of people I know, you know, that I always kind of constantly feel a little bit, I wouldn't say guilty, but like it's like survivor guilt almost. Like, it's like, why me? Why do I get this cool job? You know, my closest thing I have to a motto is just telling myself, like, it's okay what I do. It's, you know, this is a, this is a legitimate way to live.